all the celebrities are out. The floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold, but Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I gotta be in the first row behind the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas, they come in groups, they want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's gonna cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? This not. is about proving himself trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. One, two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation He takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. Well, so far, wicked good for Zabit Magomed Sharipov. He has dusted the UFC competition every step of the way. Just hard to know what's coming, and I would think as hard a guy to prepare for as anybody in the game. It has to be like taking the hardest algebra 10 test that you've ever taken in your entire life because there aren't, there is no rhyme or reason to what he's doing. He's one of the most free-flowing guys I've ever seen step foot in the octagon. There is no pattern. There is no idea. He'll take you down. He'll make you strike. He'll spin and elbow you. He'll submit you. It's unbelievable the amount and the diversity of the skill of Zabit Magomedsharipov. And according to his chief corner, Mark Henry, no one in the game trains harder. Zabit Magomedsharipov looking to move further into contention here tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. McGregor is 26. Magomedsharipov is 29. He is four inches taller. McGregor will have a one-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Zabit Magomedsharipov. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, he has stayed busy. Watch, there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does in this position. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Oh, it looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. He's gonna tag armbar here. inside the open guard of his opponent. Gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. We cross the midpoint in round one. Both fighters back to their feet now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? 
Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Zappi. Mago Medchery. Nice combination there by Connor. Pretty good job of finding the striking range there. Connor is one of the best strikers in the UFC. It is all because of the way that he manages space. He's a master manipulator in terms of managing the distance. Trying to recover full guard there. Plants an elbow there. Nice job by McGregor. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the working on a guillotine. Tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He has landed that strike very effectively. And that left hook landed on the button. opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Back to the feet. Hold. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big fall from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Massive head kick. Straight right. Overhand right. Swing and a miss. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 46 total strikes and counting have landed. And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control. He's got a ton of options. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Gets the elbow up into the target. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. And they both stand up. Another takedown, and he's doing the unbelly. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, he's got his back now. 30 seconds to go in the round. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Now look at him jump. 
jumping in to try to get the finish. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like right. through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's gonna be very interesting to see if he can right off the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Look at how fast. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Andy. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Looking for a guillotine. Watch guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. And there it is! He's done, he's done. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, great job executing the submission in that fight. Really strong work. You can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official the decision. That's called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, three seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by tap out. We do a guillotine choke. The notorious Pardon. All right, so what a performance by this young man.